Hello, my beautiful Taurus, gorgeous Venus ruled Earth sign. I love you so much, my sexy Taurus. Anyways, so my name is Trudy Healy, and this is your um, mid month August 2019 to mid month September romance reading here at Portrait Gypsy Angel Medium, also known as. Beacons of Angel Light. Blah. Anyway, um, so this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You're definitely welcome, encouraged to even go check out um, any of your other birth, birth chart placements. And crosswatch for your loved ones if you're nosy. I love crosswatchers. And um, uh, so I'm going to be using the Gilded Tarot by... Ciro Marchetti, and I'm going to be clarifying using the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland, and I will be pulling a Chakra reading card by Rachel Sharman. So, now that we've got all of that out of the way, I'm going to get right into shuffling here for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, mid-August to mid-September 2019. Romance vibes. Let's see. Before I make a huge mess, oh my gosh. You guys see that? I almost had to play pick up, what is it, 78? <laughs> what a mess! Anyway, thank you for not letting that happen. All right, so we have the page of wands wanting to come out. I'm thinking like you may be dealing with an earth sign. I'm sorry, a fire sign who could be younger than you. But we're going to put it away and see if it really does want to come out. Because I'm still in the middle of shuffling. I'm not taking it. If it wants to come out, it really will. But there's that energy there. Or maybe somebody is taking on the energy of an immature fire sign. Or they could just have fire somewhere in their birth chart. Whatever. Alright. Taurus. Let's see. So we have here Judgment, Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. What a combination. So... It's like waiting for divine timing. It's waiting for the energy to be restored. There was, you know, like this darkest, don't, darkest night that you've been living through. A nightmare almost. And you're still waiting for your ship to come in. You're waiting for the right time to harvest. You're waiting for the reward. You're waiting for... You know how they say it's always darkest before the dawn? You're waiting for the dawn. So let's hear what some of the obstacles are in the romance sector here for you. Wow, Taurus. I mean, you've just been going through the ringer. So it feels like somebody stabbed you in the back about 10 times. You're alone, cold, lost, loveless, not not really sure, you know, if you even want to be in the love game because you're feeling so restricted when it comes to anything romantically related. You feel like you're blindfolded, shackled, and, you know, that's an illusion, though. You're the one projecting that internally, like you're jaded, and so that's the, the sort of scenarios that you keep attracting, which are really burdensome to you because... You know, it's like you have to carry all of the weight in the relationship or you have to take responsibility or you're the one who's making the relationship work, putting in more effort with no reciprocity. So let's see what the advice or the outcome here for employees from the underside. That's funny. But look, right after this, we have the Seven of Swords. I just happened to... I normally don't even flip it upside down like that where you can see it, but I did this time. There's got to be a reason for it. So we have the Empress, which is, you know, 
gosh, she's Venus. It's like you coming up in your own reading Taurus. Here you are, Empress. She is beautiful. She is the type to delegate tasks. She has things done for her. She doesn't go out and do things herself, no. She is mother. She is abundant. She is intuition. She is a conqueror, a victor, okay? And that's you, and she's got all of the zodiac here. She's very well balanced in all of the elements, in all of the planets, in everything. She is empress, okay? Now, not only in the eventual outcome do we have one major arcana, but we have two. The other one is the hermit. This could be Virgo. Uh, so maybe you're, some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Um, but this is talking about quiet alone time for personal enlightenment, for personal gain, for better understanding, for, you know, an inner, inner connectedness, inner knowingness about the situation you're surrounding. Something that lacks clarity that you're going to gain insight from because of your alone time. And it could be that you're actually surrounded with people but you're still inside of your head analyzing things um, because you feel like there is deceit in this situation. You feel like there's somebody treacherous who is trying to get away with, well, I don't know what they're trying to get away with, but that's what you're here to find out, right, Taurus? Anyway, so uh, let's move forward with... Psh, psh, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mid-Month, Romance Vibes for August to mid-September 2019. So I'm going to clarify each one of these rows with one card. It's always fun to cross-read. Do a cross-deck spread. Okay, that's just me being a mess. Here's the first one. Throat chakra. So Taurus, you need to speak up, speak your truth. You're waiting for your ships to come in, and when they do come in, you need to speak your part. I got the second one. You need to speak your part because it's your right to do so, and in doing so, you are going to liberate yourself and enable yourself to be in a position so that you can receive your well-deserved reward. It's your time to shine, but it's up to you to speak out on your behalf. You know, like there's a saying in Spanish that says, Quien no llora, no mama. And I'm going to translate that for you, Taurus, because that means if you, you know, if a mother of an infant, a newborn child, doesn't hear her baby cry, she won't feed him. So if, you're, if you don't cry, if you don't ask for it, you won't get it. It's time for you to speak up, okay, so that you can enable yourself to receive your well-deserved reward right here. Okay, now, like, this leads me to believe that you're dealing with a younger earth sign, a fellow earth sign, but I could be wrong about the earth, you know. But I feel like the person that you're dealing with is younger than you, or perhaps they're more immature than you. It doesn't have to be that they're younger than you. I just feel like there's a more mature energy, and you need to love beyond it. You need to love unconditionally, very Venus-oriented the way that you are. You need to love them in spite of it all, okay? Just love them, even though they're immature, even though they have limited understanding capacities because they're immature or whatever it is, okay? Just love them. All right. You're going to get your judgment. Don't worry about it. I feel like you're, the judgment, by the way, it's in your favor. It's not a bad thing. And if you are le dealing actually with the judicial system, Taurus, it's going to work out in your advantage, but I feel like this is a karma balancing and so this is a third eye chakra card here clarity you may want to meditate with clear crisp the clear crystal quartz um, 
and put it on your third eye and meditate with it and, and focus on your third eye is pulsating. You'll, I swear to you, if you focus and zero in all of your energy on your third eye, you'll start to feel your heartbeat on it. So this is the color also that you want to visualize as you're meditating. And the card here, it's number 25. It's about clarity. It's about gaining clarity for your third eye so that you don't contradict yourself in your visual visualizations about what it is that you want for yourself because here you are focused on all of this lack you're focused on all of this ugly stuff instead of what you really want for yourself the harvest that you're waiting for you know so this is why you're being encouraged to spend time alone in meditative time so that you can clarify what it is that you want for yourself and really put that out into the universe if not, all of your requests are being canceled out because you're having all of these thoughts of fears and doubts and insecurities and, you know, contradicting thoughts and contradicting energies. It's like a positive and a negative. So uh, it's time to really clarify and assert and clear out the thoughts that have no place, the manifestations that have no place, and gain clarity and insight, like the hermit is saying to do over here, okay? Clarity and insight, so that you can become like this clear crystal quartz, so that you can manifest clearly your intentions, Taurus. So I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. I love you so much. Love me back. Love yourselves. Love everybody around you. Mwah.